Well, well, well. Welcome back, everyone. To the case of the Golden Idol, I'm covering the word the. It, it says it right here, so. The case of the Golden Idol. Um, I realized in the last episode while I was editing, I'm obviously covering part of the screen. I will do my do a better job of more clearly reading what's behind me, but there wasn't really anything that we missed. Last episode we had um oh goodness, I don't forget I don't remember names at all. But this guy pushed this guy. And then this guy died. And then in this scene, this guy, who's a relative of this guy who died, was upset because a guy who's just off the little camera here, I realized from when I was editing, was a relative of this guy. So this guy, the guy number one, felt bad that he killed this guy, and when he died, um, he realized, like, or he, it was his way of atoning, saying, like, this does rightfully belong to your family. So that's why this other guy, guy number two's family, um, was like, yeah, I, like, everyone's like, who is this guy? He's just coming in here taking part of the estate, and I'm getting just a book of, like, self-help. So, anyways, I'm Sen from Sound Effects Necessary. That's what happened in the last episode. If you didn't watch it, too bad. That's, you know now. Um, please subscribe means a lot to me and uh let's get going yeah the cursed inheritance the murder at the little mermaid oh that is most certainly a murder no right. let's take a peek outside the window <gasps> why did that bugger give me a note when he knows damn well i can't read an old rusty half of shears Piece of stale bread, okay. So you look like you're some sort of laborer in the fields. Maybe you were given a note. You can lie low for a couple of days in the old oarsman's place down at the docks. Maybe the note wasn't meant for him then. It's just, hey, take this away. Or maybe it was meant for him. Hello, baby kids. Oh, we got kitty. Look at the kitty. Gay kids? No, I put the key up a lot anymore. Don't get no kisses. No kisses today. I'll let you hang out. You can walk in front of my screen, check out my water. She's checking the water. She says, Miso says, stay hydrated. Come here, Miso. No. Sniffing around. She's doing her own thing. When I come smell the water. Yes. Yes. Oh, no. Stay hydrated, everyone. I don't think the window or the shear will be very important, but we don't know. Anyways, um, an empty bed, not warm. Okay. A trap door in the ceiling. Okay, they escaped and that's why. Okay. The door does not open. Is it locked? Oh, uh, I don't wanna go down just yet. Door does not open. This one is locked, we can see that. Revenge. R R and then he died. A walking cane. A ring with a ruby. We've we've been following this ring around a bit. Who had it in the last one? It was given at the inheritance. Um the man is not breathing. He's been stabbed by the looks of it. Okay, blue flowers and then dandelions. What, what is this? I don't recognize. I don't know the name of that kind of flower. But I know that these are dandelions. It's pretty pretty. Dandelions are a weed. To my dear Maurice, the watch is ticking. Two twenty-five is when we're coming into this scene. Dear Proud Beast Master, I have attended our departed brother's send-off and accepted the keepsake that he he bestowed upon our brotherhood in his will. This is from the last scene that we saw. I shall send this letter tomorrow, September 10th. I hope it will reach you without delay. Already it is midnight. I will retire to my bed for this. It has been a long day. May Griffin awaken, Proud Beast initiate. Interesting. Sounds like some sort of cult. 
How interesting. So this happened on, um, uh, on September 10th. Because he says, I'm gonna send the letter tomorrow, but we see already that it is 2.25 in the morning. Yes. How interesting. Oh, this is like, it's always so interesting. Oh. Alarm! Alarm! A break in! Watchman's Lantern. Watchman's Alarm. Red. Watchman number two, Henry Park. Watchman's. However, the spear doesn't seem to be dirty, but that doesn't mean that we haven't seen a spear before. Shards of glass lie in the mud. No, 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 that's not a break in, that's a break out. Otherwise, the glass would be on the inside here. Trap door in the ceiling. So these trap doors are but a ruse. Or maybe they hid in here and then came down. Guy who is in here hid up here, came down, killed, and then left. Anyways, oh, what a great time. Oh, 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 oh. I, I don't like whatever this thing is. All right, let's see here. Tell me, what does that, have, that man have that I lack? A hand of cards, not a hand of cards, that's for sure. A key, seven pence, and a small sword. That must be for here, because he's been down all night drinking, and he has a coat up. I don't know. But there's a key at least. Another key. Be calm, John. Uh, John. He was a perfect gentleman. He bought me a drink and then retired upstairs. And a card. I don't think they're talking about the guy who was murdered. To Annie. Annie, you are like a glass of. Oh, you are beautiful like a rose, for I will take any. For you, I will take any blows. I, I can't read. Annie, you are like a glass of wine. Your hair is very fine. I will find gold in a mine that makes you forever mine. A piglet full of love. A stiletto blade. A key. Two shillings and four pence. These weapons, however, are all clean. Just deal the next one. It's all luck anyways. We've seen this man before. He said while someone was burning it was the exact same place. Oh, how interesting. Remember, you as an agent of our trading company have to reflect its values to the fullest. Never be late. Client leaves support on the 10th. Be persuasive. Do not take no for an answer. You must. We must get the client's product. Three, be effective. Once you have the product, deliver it to me immediately with the servant board. Most importantly, no matter what you do, be mindful of our reputation. Our names must remain spotless. All right. Seems like a good way of dealing things. Do you all have... Well, everyone Everyone has weapons in this world, I'm noticing. You all, however, have... Actually, wait. wait one of you the murderer. This clue has been added to the kitchen. That means... Oh, these are scores, right? Yeah. Okay. So AG has been playing all night. JB joined later on after WW and ME. This may be the gentleman who was killed. OB and AB. So they've had their this person here has been cycling out a lot, if they're all sitting in the same spots. Oh mother forgive me, I will never gamble with something so dear to me again. The violin. Navaha Folding Blade. Sorry, U-M-E. Did you lose a lot or something? At the Little Mermaid. Amazing Evans' musical performance on September 9th. Event shall commence circa 11 p.m. So, it's September 10th though because we it's late. We have an Evans. Evans? Evans. Yep, so he did lose a lot. Interesting. Wanted. Robert Redruth. Escaped convict reward 50 pounds. That's our double R's over here. Double R's. Music. 
Uh, green. Four gallons of wine. Bria, four... No, glasses, not gallons. <laughs> Checking the time here. Uh, and Blair, one glass of wine. I don't think we need to worry about any of them. I think it's red for if we did it. The dandelion room. Williard Wright. That's, uh... So I don't think he's still sitting here, because these are all the people who are currently playing. So Williard Wright left, but I think Williard Wright was in... Okay, okay, so yeah, here's my theory, here's my theory. And then we'll find more info. Williard Wright uh, is actually... Um, what's his name? Robert Redruth. And then he went up uh, into the attic, because these doors are all locked, came down, killed him, and then broke out. That's my theory. Let's see here. Blair right, one right, one right. Ash Blair. Forget me not room one right. Blair. Yes, was in the previous. Where did that blasted boy go? I really need a piss. Here, Oscar Boyd. It's come to our attention the good owner of the Little Mermaid offers services to those who want to transfer products that are less agreeable to the authorities. I will come by in three days if you still have some spare space in your gin barrels and you are willing to earn extra money each hunt. Large kitchen knife. Particularly peeled lemon. Partially peeled lemon. A ring of various keys. I think that the keys are right here. The door to the street is shut with the latch. Is that everything? Do we have it all? Is anything twinkling red? No, this is still twinkling. You. Oh, Maurice. Okay. And this is still twinkling. Epilogue, break in, park, Henry. That's probably going to annoy me. Henry Parker. Oh, I didn't realize I could move these. Robert Redruth. And what is your name again? Ash Blair. Blair. Ash. Okay. Now on to thinking. Oh, God in heavens. So I'm covering up. Blank Blank crept into Blank Blank's room through the blank. So we will say trap. Door. Robert Redruth. And then this is Robert Redruth. Who um, was going under the name of Williard Wright. Let's get the ominous music for the thinking. Maurice Evans, right? Yes. So... Maurice... Evans. And then Ash Blair... John... Uh... Boyd? No. Guessing on these last names here. Annie Green. And... Boyton. John. Uh... Bridge. There's something down here that'll show me all the names. We've all been working together on... Shelton. Green. Breeze and Blair. Okay. Breeze, breeze, breeze. Okay. Back to the back to the thinking music. 
and then O B Oscar Boyton because that's the name of the. Okay, so that was all together. So I did guess correctly. Um, I, I did liked in, or I did like in the last episode. There were some times where I'm like, oh, I'll just get it until it tells me I'm right. I that seems a little bit, I, I guess, of a smelly way of doing things. Um, Henry Parker, because I, I want to make sure that I guess correctly and that it'll have information for everything. It's not just gonna say, oh, well, you know, guess until it, we just give it to you. Um, so it was. Who was it that was killed again? I, I completely forget again. Um, he's not breathing. He's definitely been stabbed. He had a walking cane. And I would remember this if I played this back to back. Maurice. Maurice. Okay, so. Maurice Evans. How unfortunate. Um, and then we've got John Brierge. Annie Green. And then. No, this isn't Maurice Evans, is it? Because you were Maurice Evans. Alright, back to the merriment. Um, amazing Evans' musical performance. So you are Evans. Okay. So you're not Maurice Evans. You are instead, because you retired. Oscar Boyton. Please, no. Because you are... Um, Oscar Boyd. Okay, Oscar Boyton. That's not the guy playing the, f the fiddle. Maurice Evans. Which means that you are. Uh, what if it wasn't under a false name, but. Williard Wright was the accomplice. But they're all wearing coats. I guess this coat doesn't, isn't of much importance. So, the forget-me-not room is Ash Blair. Is Ash Blair currently down here? Yes, Ash Blair is currently playing, so you are the one who are the accomplice. So, Ash, Blair, and then, uh, who was it that got killed? John Breeze? No, John Breeze is here. Ash, Blair, Oscar Boyton, who retired his room. Two or fewer slots are incorrect. So it's got a last name mix up, right? Who would I? Are you really not Robert Redruth? But instead, do they want me to put Williard Wright? How do I only have a little bit wrong? These seem like people's names are correct. Let me go back up here. He was stabbed with, let's see here. We can find out what he was stabbed with based on. Yes, old Rusty have shears. Stabbed with shears. So, Robert Redruth crept into Oscar, no, not Oscar Williams, into Ash Blair's room, trap door, while oh, oh, oh. Um, Ash Blair's room, trap door, while 
John Breeze and Annie Green and Ash Blair playing cards with loud music. A fight ensued upstairs and Oscar Boyton stabbed the shear. Yeah. So I have someone incorrect here. Oh, Boyton. I have two Boytons here. Um, hold on. I'm so stupid. Oscar Boyton is the... Okay. Um, Maurice Evans, right? No, Maurice Evans is here. John Breeze. John Breeze. Ash Blair. Annie Green. Willard Wright. Okay, so now we know. Robert Redruth crept into Ash Blair's room while John Breeze, Annie Green, and Ash Blair were playing cards with loud music. A fight ensued upstairs, and Williard Wright, not look as Oscar Boyton. You are Williard, Willard Wright. Why am I struggling so much with this? It's been nearly 20 minutes of this first one. Not solve the scenario. Currently, I have no unlocked hints. We strongly advise you to play without hints, but if you insist for each hint you want to uh, earn, you have to complete a small task. Uh, Alright, drag the phrases to the matching pictures. Oh. Yeah, sure. Ink pot, harp, watch. Guitar, they are, they are teaching me. Paint pot, a fan, a dagger, a pipe, Edmonds, a violin, a knife, and Nicholas. Good job, my friend. Now go and select a hint to your liking. On the bloody writing, a means of access, and the motive on the card matches. Means of access. Direct your attention to the following, dear friend. The murder was no go the murderer was no ghost. You had to gain access to the victim and then leave them. Some paths may not have been possible. Consider which of the suspects would have been able to access the right paths. Okay, okay, okay. So I think one of these guys is the one who killed him. He killed um, Maurice there. Or Willard, right. So, it wasn't Robert Redford. But maybe they looked like it? It was... Who isn't here? So, it, this tells us our, our, our chain of events of who was where... Um, and right now, I have blank blank crept into Ash Blair's room, because I don't know who killed uh, Willard Wright. So Willard Wright went to bed rather quickly. Maurice Evans is... He was there for a little bit, and he... Oh, I see. Willard Wright beat Maurice Evans rather a lot at the gambling. I think it was Maurice Evans. No. Okay. Oh boy. Because Annie Green has been playing all night, so we'll put her up top here. We know that she was there. Maurice Evans may have backed out. Willard Wright went upstairs. Oscar Boyton, I don't know. I think I need another hint. This kind of sucks. Cannot solve it. Yeah, I can't solve it. On the means of access, I have to earn another hint. I go to hint selection. I need a hint on... Any card matches? 
help on this bloody way. Contemplate this, dear friend. The murderer left a bloody- The murderer left it. And signed it. There's a person whose initials match his signature, but do they possess the necessary skills to produce this gruesome graffiti? Some have inspired his signature. That's right! Okay, okay, okay. So, the murderer... Okay, okay, so the murderer left the hint here. Wasn't the mur- it wasn't Robert Redford who broke in. Because he can't read. He's just a guy. Revenge, so the murderer is framing someone else. That means he was not stabbed with shears. And Robert Ruth did not do that. So it was Maurice Evans, like I originally thought. Tried to steal something from the guy. And what did Maurice Evans have? The Navajo folder. Okay, which means that happened. Wow. Oscar Boyton. John Breeze and Annie Green. No? Okay, okay. Um... I am so sorry if, like, everyone else is like, it's obviously so and so. Like, it was obviously this and that. The door. Because he crept in. He didn't creep in through there at all. Oh my god. Is this... I can't solve it. I need to earn a hint. Okay, I need help on a motive. Small question to your friend. More than one suspect might have a plausible motive to dislike the victim. But a motive does not a killer make. Okay, so it wasn't Evans, even though he lost a lot of money. Focus on who had the means to do the deed rather than who merely wished for So is this out of contempt? Was it... Into Ash Blair's Through... Trap door... Willard Wright was the one who snuck in. Annie Green... John Breeze and Oscar Boyton. Stabbed. I don't know. I, I have no clue what happened at all. I need to revisit the scene. So whoever did it has a key. Came up and over. So it was Ash Blair. Right? Ash Blair crept into Ash Blair's room through the. And no, into Willard Wright's room through the trap door. Okay. And then what did Ash Blair do? Ash Blair was the one who killed him with a dagger. No. It's a shield. Small spoon. Stiletto. Okay, so it was with the dagger, and this was while he couldn't have gone if he was there while Oscar Boyd. I don't know why that was so difficult for me. That was nearly 40 minutes. The scroll has been fulfilled. Three of four hints accessed. Yeah, I know. A man going by the name of Ash Blair crept into Williard's room through the trapdoor to steal something important. But when he opened the music box, it woke Willard up and a fight ensued. In the fracas, Ash stabbed Willard and attempted to frame an escaped convict. Interesting. I did not put that together at all with the music box. Let's see, how much time do I have? Wow. Wow, okay. Okay. That's one creepy mermaid. I don't know why it's gotta be like that. Oscar Boyton. 
Good morning, innkeeper. I heard a man was murdered here a week ago. Aye, a deranged convict did him off. Now, did him in. Now, bugger off. Tell me more about the evening when Willard Wright died. I will make it worth your while. Man with a feathery, red feathery hat. <laughs> Face. <laughs> okay. Okay. How interesting. I'll do another one. That way this whole episode isn't just me struggling with one thing. I'll trim it down a bit. We'll see where we are. But that nearly took me 40 minutes. Curse inheritance. An intoxicating dinner party. Whoa, mother. These sure are some fine coats. Expensive cigars over here. Little Pip. Run to the city and grab me some Ash Blair tobacco and a bottle of gin. I'll pay you when I am back. David. So Ash Blair wasn't actually the guy, which is why that name doesn't sound familiar. We've got pockets, an no, overcoat, and a hat. An overcoat and a hat. Box of cigars. Dear Miss Richards, I enjoyed your company. Put Richards over here. I enjoyed your company tremendously when I visited uh, your father last month. I'm certain. Uh, that you would wish to hear the rest of my thoughts on the shortcomings of our society. I invite you and your father to a dinner on April 8th at my manor. Edmund Cloudsley. Which is the name of one of the inheritance. Um, Cloudsley was the, was guy number one who pushed the other guy off in the first place. So that's family number one. For you, uh, dear Mary. Mary Richards. Ah, uh, here's something for your diary from me. For you, I would fight the tiger and win. Peter Baffley. Alright. I, I, I do like the drawing, sir. Alright. What is this? A syringe with some liquid left in it. Oh, I'm sorry. Okay. Clue has been added to the thinking panel. I don't know what clue that is. Goodness, there's a lot of things. Thank you, dear. No, I threw it out. I do not need read such dirty literature anymore. Anymore. I do hope our master's guests are satisfied and that Brian served everything as instructed. Brian. Let's see here. Is it little Brian Pip? simple key. Dinner party will take place on April 8th. Everything should be ready before noon. Prepare us for young Miss Richards. Alright. Miss Young Miss Richards appears to not enjoy meat. Therefore, prepare some alternative side dish. Okay, Mary Richards. So many things. Mrs. Smith. Mrs. Smith. Smith. Oh, I'm making a mess of this already. For three years of service. Mrs. Smith. Two eggs and a pot of tea. Each breakfast. No heavy food for dinner. Responsible for a little hip doing all his errand. Mr. Walker. Oh, I've mucked this up already. I am to be woken up, uh, Brian Walker. Um, I am to be woken up and dressed at 7 a.m. I expect to receive my daily newspaper by noon. Mrs. Baker. I expect all my rooms to be cleaned every day, twice on the days I have visitors. NB. David Gorin's uh, job requires that he may arrive or leave during night. Complaining about this, Edmund Cloudsley. N B N B. Don't know an N B yet. Wine. Full and sealed bottles with red liquid label. Wine. A full and sealed bottle with amber liquid label. Brandy. But the one of them was poisoned. Perhaps. Three 
three loaves of bread, some lemons, the lemons, basket of potatoes, sack of flour, pair of opaque bottles labeled water. Cut vegetables, a big piece of meat, pop with some four. Door to the outside, not locked. Door is locked. Stack of candles. Your diary has been an ordinary day mostly spent in preparation for tomorrow's dinner. I do not believe the time has come for me to ask for a raise in salary after all these years I have loyally worked here. It's a difficult conversation to be had, but I will strengthen my will and talk to Master Fear about it tomorrow. Wise slave. Fables about the rulers that make you think. So this appears to be um, Mrs. Smith. Paint cam. Down with parasites. Too long have they feasted on our blood and sweat. Interesting. Ash Blair, finest tobacco. Set of lockpicks. Dagger of the pistol. Dave. Clean up the barn until Wednesday. I plan to continue experimenting with the artifact, Edmund Cloudsley. David Baker. Door is locked. So she has the key to that room. Oh. What have you been painting? What did you poison? Did I get everything here? No. Ooh. Monkey Man versus Dark Stripe versus Stripe Dark Cat. Monkey Man 2. Tooth for Tooth. Oh, this is the boy! Small bottle filled with amber liquid. A couple of pennies, a fancy handkerchief, and a shiny pocket watch. Just little Pip's room? Wait. Little Pip, are you devious? Did you steal? Do you have a copy of a key? Ink pot? Money? Star child. Remember to take the fourth one from every row. I will not change the rule that the staff member who has worked here the longest gets the bottom room. Do not bother me with such nonsense again, Edmund Clouds. Mademoiselle the laceless count, the besmirched lover of Lusitiana. Maybe this is uh Miss Smith. Maybe this is the woman who was like, I threw that away, I don't read anymore, but secretly I do. Knife. A pair of twig dolls and a bottle of pink liquid, but partially empty. Once the target has ingested the love potion, establish eye contact and hold it for as long as possible. In most cases, the effects will be felt within two days, depending on your own appearances. Hmm. Ideal Republic, visions of a utopia with order and structure. Monkey has evolved. Monkey has changed hands. Or money has changed hands. Due to the sensitivity of your stomach, I am abstaining from alcohol for the next month. Also consider a glass of peptic tonic before eating to avoid upsetting your digestive system. Sealed bottle label opium. Okay. Peptic tonic. Two sealed bottles of cloudy liquid labeled peptic tonic. Someone had, was not feeling terribly well. Maybe she who could not eat the meat. Dear Edmund, sincerely, Rose Kubert. We know Rose Kubert. She was in The Inheritance, the third scene. This cannot continue. Since my return, I'm moved to Sebastian's manor. He has asked for financial support seven times. He clearly is unable to take any monetary responsibility. Help me. Please, I need your help, my dear brother. Hmm, what do you think, baby? What do you think, huh? 
Miss Baker, starting date, 1787, August 1st. Position, housemaid. Yearly wage, nine pounds. Nine pounds for a year? That's not much. That's not much at all, baby. All right, all right. I'll let you go do your thing. Here we go. Hmm. Dear Edmund, I like your idea. Let's send him to colonies where his violent nature will make him feel at home. I hear you are having dinner with Lady Mary and her well-to-do father, Lothar. Mary and Lothar Richards. If Peter and I were to join you, we could beguile him with tales of adventures in the colonies so we can ship them away. Sincerely, Rose Cupid. Baker, starting date. First, 1787. I already read that. The idol. There it is. Okay. But the gem is blue. I don't understand that. Is it still set to a freezing spell? Well, Edmund, you seem pretty pleased after the old boy passed away, and a spot freed up for you in the House of Lords. Take care of those with whom you ally. I have many friends, and deal with you swift, and will deal with you swiftly. Dare cross me. George, right, bridges, bridges. Mm. Edmund Clouds. My cat is jumping into a box. Revolution will come for the likes of you, you crooked bastard. Soon you will pay for your sins against honest common folk with your blood. Final vanguard. Edmund Cloudsley, once more you have failed to answer our requisition. This is the last warning you will receive. Your transgressions against us demand amends. The only course of action you have is to surrender yourself to our justice. Last chance for repentance, serpent, or you will unleash one of our stewards, or we will unleash one of our stewards upon you. Brotherhood of the masks. You hear that my cat is now using her treadmill, Miso. It's her name. She's very cute, very sweet. Dear uncle, you are interested in Lady Richard. I think you are too old for her. I shall court her instead. Secondly, please lend me 300 pounds and a small change to you, and I am desperately in need of it at present. Yours truly, Peter Bathory. Please lend me the combined wages of one of your servants of, like, what is it, like, uh, 30 years? Please lend that. These people aren't paid much at all. Oh my god. So... That was Rose. Rose, what was your last name? Where is it? Rose Cubert. And then this is Mary Richards and her father. I don't know. So we have a martyr. Oh my lord, this has nothing to do with me. Note to self, if you get frustrated when working, remember that tale about the rich lord who married his donkey and you will feel better. Key. Key. This is, we have a copy of this key. Small, simple key. So I need to check something really quick. No. No, that's not the same key. Interesting, interesting. Okay, bottle labeled water. Gross. A salad bowl. A half full carafe of amber liquid labeled brandy. Half full bottle of red liquid labeled wine. Almost full carafe of yellow liquid containing lemons. A half empty bottle of cloudy liquid labeled peptic tonic. I'm sure that the beautiful lady sits next to me during dinner and I will slip you a shilling, Peter. Okay. You killed my aunt, you devil! I should execute you on the spot! Cards, two pounds, and a fork. He said, oh my lord, this has nothing to do with me. What happened to you? The lady's not breathing, her face is blotched. So she was something at the mouth, she was poisoned. Fan, rings from various gemstones, four pounds. She does seem rather unwell, it's extremely upsetting. And she's dead, she's not breathing. You should be, like, providing CPR. It's poison. Nobody touch a thing and nobody move. I'll send for a doctor right away. Embroidered handkerchief. One, two. Small ones. 
two big ones. That's a copy of our key that we have here. Oh, they're so clever. So we have a copy of his, of his key. This one. But what is it for? I've been clouds. This is horrible, and she's about to faint. This clue's been added to the thinking panel. Okay, this is a plate, parsley, salad, roast, salad, roast, salad, untouched salad. Okay, so we have to figure out what was poisoned. It wasn't the meat, it wasn't the salad, because everyone had some. Clear liquid, water. Yellow liquid, that's a lemon. Wine. Brandy. Wine. Peptic tonic. Wine. So there'll be one that's missing a fork. So you sat over here. And then Mary Rose. Partially under, so was it the peptic tonic that was poisoned? Partially smoked cigar. Interesting. How interesting. I'm missing three things, but it's... I'm missing a person. I'm missing an entire... a whole person. Oh, little Pip. Please show our fine coats. You said it, little Pip. There's a person missing? I haven't clicked on a person? What on earth? Oh my goodness. This is... This is getting into some pretty complicated murders here. There's a whole person I haven't seen yet, right? Clicked on you clicked on you. Who have I not clicked on? There's a whole person that here that's not here. How interesting. So we've got Lothar, Richards, Mary, Richards. We have Edmund Cloudsley. We have Little Pip, God bless you, Little Pip. We're missing um, David Baker. No, wait, David Baker is here, right? We're missing Smith. Uh, we have, uh, where's her name? Rose Hubert Smith. Did I not click on you? I didn't click on you. Of course I can give you some candles for your room, Lucia. I assume you are itching to continue reading a scandalous novel. Dear Ada. Oh. I have to use this letter to share good news. There is no substance to the claims that, you, that your late husband used his position to squander church money. Judges decided to remove all accusations and you will be no longer a target of baseless gossip. I truly sincerely hope this will provide some comfort in these dark times when ignorance and impotence go hand in hand. Our Mayor Lord Steward... Um, over our poor souls. So, Lucia and Ada. So you are Ada, Lucia, and you are... Walker? I hate that the cigars are going to be important. And then this man, I forget his name, I forget his name, he was in a previous one, he's Gorin, right? Peter Gorin. Peter Beth. Peter Beth. He's Peter Beth. Now you are Gorin. You have to be right, yes. Yeah, probably. Definitely. No, you're not. 
Oh, if I if I had watched the last one, I would know immediately. Monkey Man. What does Monkey Man have to do with anything? Poisoned. Blanket. Hit the necessary key in a mattress. Okay, okay. So, blank blank wanted blank blank dead, and thus blank blank poisoned the blank and hid the necessary key in a blank. At the dinner party, blank blank adjusted the poison and died. Uh, where is Cupid? I know that. Peter... Batley. I know these three are correct. I'm not entirely sure about these three. So, let's see here. Do you have anything on your person? Broidered handkerchief. Dear Mary, here is something for your diary from me. Your fight to Peter Batley. You're Peter Batley? Okay. Peter, uh, Batley. Okay, yeah, Peter Batley. And then... Oh my goodness, I'm so quiet. I'm, I apologize. Um, what was this other guy? Uh, Lothar? I assumed he was just Mary's father. Okay. Okay. So maybe you are Lothar Bridges? George Bridges? No, you are Lothar Bridges. So... There we go. Okay. I have the names, and I'm going to call it for this one, because I'm getting way over time, and I just, I don't know. This is, this scale, it went from like, oh wow, how interesting. He instead was killed by falling off the horse when it wasn't a murder, to like, boom, like, I, I don't know, I don't know. This, this, this got crazy really fast. I thought it was going to be like a four episode series, it's going to be more than that. But this, by the way, is episode two. Um, I, when I was looking it up, because people keep getting confused that my, when I, on my second episodes of things, people keep thinking it's the second game, even when there is no such thing as the second game, it doesn't exist. People are like, a second game has already come out? I didn't know. It's like, no, it's the second episode, episode two, uh, two. Um, so when I was looking into it, there actually is a sequel announced for this one. It has a different name. It's, um... It has something to do with the Golden Idol, but it's there's another game coming out that's been announced, but it's not out yet. So, um, by the time I finish this game and figure everything out, it'll probably be out, knowing how long this is going to take now. But, we shall leave it there. Um, I can... Let me see, can I move myself? Oh, I can. Oh, I can move myself down just a wee bit. So, I'll try to do that in some later episodes where I'm not as in the way. Um... But yeah, this, this got very, very difficult very fast. Whew. Thank you so much for watching. If you have any ideas on what may or may not be, if you have any clues, um, obviously don't spoil anything. But if you say something that's wrong, like, oh, the in fact, the string on the, on the outside of the manor goes from this person's house to this person's room. We know this because of this. Like, that would be helpful. That'd be cool. I would love to have you help me get involved in some of this, but until then, uh, thank you for watching. Please stay smart, stay sleuthing, and stay hydrated, everyone. Hydration is important. And uh, stay subscribed. Goodbye.